Hello Taurus and welcome to your Astro Flower reading. We're going to be going from the 23rd through to the 29th of January. Uh, it's your first week into your winter period for those of you who are born at the beginning of Taurus season. Um, so there may be some changes that are coming up over the next sort of few weeks. It'd be good to have a look at your mid-January reading which came out this week where we went into the aura, the chakras and then did a tower reading like we are going to do today. So without further ado, let's just see what's going on with your chakras here. So root chakras, nicely actually, the pair of them are really quite sort of solid. So there's, um, there's a desire to sort of um, get things in place by the sounds of it, uh, which is quite nice for you this week. So it's got a good determination and you know where you're going this week. So let's see what's going on with the sacrum. There is also this sensation of... Maybe you put a bit of work balance, uh, work uh, play ethic into balance. That's quite nice with your sacrum as well. Let's just see what's happening on your on your solar plexus. This is where we find the determination. So basically, there you go. That's really quite big compared with the other two. There, it's a lot bigger. Let's just see what's going on in your heart chakra. So there's a yeah, there's also a lot of um, desires in your heart chakra as well. Your heart chakra is really full, so this could be good for relationships and stuff like that as well. Uh, determined to get things right, get things moving on, get very passionate about things um, with your heart and stuff like that. So these are the two chakras that seem to be playing the most in this uh, in this week. Let's just have a look what's going on in your third eye and your throat chakra. There's definite ideas. Uh, connected to this it's it's nourishing the ideas in your in your mind in your intuition through your confidence there's a lot of confidence there and, and determination and desire to sort of uh, go through things we're going to have a look a closer look at your I think the heart chakra for sure and what's going on in your crown crown is quite nice actually yeah it's quite a beautiful um, scenario there it's really looking lovely um, and um, yeah it's um, it's contented let's put it that way it's contented this week so um, it's not too much troubling your mind you're just exploring avenues I think more than anything else but let's just go through individual petals on your chakra on your heart so This comes out really quite far. So it's playing on on the fourth chakra, the fourth petal coming out of your heart, which is much more to do with sort of consistency within life. It's almost like um, the desire to um, get systems into place that make uh, that allow you to um, allow you to live an enjoyable life to feel secure and to feel comfortable about where you're going and what's going on in your life it doesn't seem to be a relationship orientated it, I think there's a lot of um, enjoying the moment at the uh, for you uh, this week uh, within you Taurus and um, yeah, I'd just be a little bit wary of that. I'd like to have a look at the um, the solar plexus. All petals are online. They're really all they're all pulled out to full capacity, as it were, because you have two layers in the in the solar plexus really, and they sort of back each other up in a way. But I would just be a little bit wary of the downside of that because there is a downside to everything. Um, the thing that you should be paying attention to, or not paying attention to, but just making sure that it doesn't sort of creep into your life, that you become short with that heart. So the heart is brilliant. It's absolutely amazing sort of chakra. It's lovely energy, uh, very light energy. But that, um, as much as a nice cool breeze in the summertime or a nice warm breeze in the early springtime could be lovely on your face. You can also have a hurricane. And this is what this is, you know, this is what we need to get our heads around people. Love and hate. Hate is just the 
opposite side to love and you've got to have it in a sort of balance not that you are encouraging you to um bring hate into your life but what i'm just sort of saying there's there's pluses and minuses you can't just pull on the positive uh simply because the universe will just put things back into equal uh equal balance and that's going to create complications and problems um you know when we when we aspire without being a little bit too realistic and this is what's happening this is what could happen for you it could be a case of um you know getting things so watertight that it's not there's no more movement in it and you might feel yourself a little bit sort of trapped in it of doing something continuously um you know repeating something and um this could be within your relationships and this could be within your business as well. In order to keep it sort of light and bubbly, you're going to need to allow those ideas that come in from your third eye and your throat chakra in order to feed your heart, feed your desires of the things you want to do. The alternatives or the, the off-the-wall ideas that come in, just help yourself to grow basically more than anything else. But it is nice. That's the negative side of it. In general, though, it's absolutely refreshing, and I think you should be on a real high. Um, you know, the majority of people. For some people, it's going to be the other thing I just sort of explained. But for the majority of people, it's going to be really satisfying, I think, this week for you. Um, let's just see what's going on on the aura here. All right, it seems to be okay, a little bit top-heavy. Um, just because there's a lot of thinking going on there and you know it's good to do a bit of meditation to just reground yourself to pull things back down into the into the uh, uh, into the root chakra or the sacrum as well uh, just to sort of feed those ideas of how you want things to turn out and stuff like that but at the moment as I say we're you know you're going for that transition from your summer into your autumn and um, it should be uh, very vibrant for you at the moment Let's just check the body out and let's just see if there's any sort of um, healing that needs to be happening. Okay, so it's a bit, it is autumn up here, uh, or winter, sorry, up here in the Northern Hemisphere. So you could be dealing with a few colds and stuff like that. It might be a good idea to get a bit of, you know, rest, rest your bre um, breathing exercises. Sorry, I was getting into French. Um, breathing exercises uh, deep within your meditation, uh, also cardiovascular, that could be quite good at the moment, just to get the things circulating a lot better. Because there's a circulation thing going on in the legs as well, um, so that would be also help you on that sort of front, the, you know, doing a bit of cardiovascular. Obviously, I'm not a, like a doctor, um, and you shouldn't take a medical advice uh, apart from from a doctor. Apparently, uh, all I'm saying is there a bit of exercise in life where you can breathe deeply is going to be fine. Okay, uh, let's just get on to your reading then for this week, um, and see what's going on there, and see how that relates to those sort of chakras that are coming that we went over here earlier on. Okay, so this is the overall energy for the week. It's very mathematical. It almost looks like Tetrix. A little bit like the walls that you find in the South America made by the um, sort of uh, the uh, Az the Aztecs or the um, the Mayan or the, uh, you know, the Olmec uh, down there. Uh, it's very sort of like methodical. So yeah, it's like Tetrix. It's like you've got all these possibilities in a wall that you need to go through. And there's one one path that is evident to go through. It's like looking at a wall and then you're kind of going, how are we going to get through? Oh, look, there's a door. Sort of scenario. And I think it's going to be really obvious for you. I think it, it's following the obvious for you this week. Um, it's going to bring you, on a, it's going to take you on a lovely journey of discovery, not only about yourself, but for other people that are around you. Let's just see what the karmic message is for you uh, this week. And this is on your relationship side. Well, it could be love coming in. There's certainly it. There's sort of this sensation of, I think, yeah, it could, there could be, you know, for some of you, uh, it could even be marriage and stuff like that. It's not going to be for everybody, of course. But I, there is this sensation of, I think this is coming from the outside world rather than coming from you. So 
you might be encouraged um, by a lot of people that are around you to sort of like um, uh, open your heart, as it were. Um, so we got the um, Eight of Pentacles here. Eight of Pentacles is almost sort of mastery. I think this is maybe that's um, marrying that thing, sort of um, marrying aspect. It wasn't a marriage. It was more like a circle um, around a heart. And it was as if to sort of say, I know how my heart works. So it would be good to use that to find that doorway, to find that evident path. Just rely on the simple things that are in your heart uh, in regards to the relationships. And don't deep it too much this week um, for you. Let's just see what's going on, um, how the divine plan is trying to influence this. There's a lot of social stuff going on at the moment. I think the universe is asking you to pick up the pace a little bit. Um, it's, yeah, it's uh, Ace of Swords. So there is, you know, the, the universe is providing for you. Um, and this is really good because on the old traditional pack, you've got this hand offering you a sword out of a cloud to say that the universe is offering you this opportunity to cut through things and get moving on basically with a plan or, or something that's for you you know um yeah i think it's um there's good possibilities within the ideas that i was talking about coming through and that could be within relationships and that could be with doing things and being very active but whatever it is it seems to be very quick around you at the moment let's just see how the guides are trying to influence this karmic message They're kicking back. That this is where you know when I said like um, don't deep it. It's like they're kicking back to sort of say, don't worry, don't worry, just shoot in the breeze. Don't worry, relax, harmony. This is what it's all about. I think within your relationships this week, uh, yeah, just enjoy the moment. Get involved in the here and now. Um, it's going to provide a lot of ideas for for the going future. Not necessarily that you need to apply this week. But certainly in which you need to, um, you know, think about and maybe integrate within your life in the going future. And this is an, an, you know, that thing of work, I think is almost sort of like um, recognising or analysing what works for you uh, in regards to the relationships or regards to activities or regards to, uh, you know, sharing your life with other people that are around you. Let's just see what goes on, how the guide's trying to influence the conversation that is within you. Yeah, they're also very relaxed about things. Um, they're almost sort of, uh, they're almost sort of saying, you know, sort of, saying, yeah, right, oh, that's interesting. You know, they're, they're being very observative uh, about what's going on around you, but they're not really sort of getting carried away. So, yeah, I think here in your relationships, it's, it's just concentrating on the here and now. Here we go again, you know, with this um, Two of Pentacles. It's concentrating your energy on the here and now. Don't deep it. Don't go for it too far. Don't go overboard with your relationships this week. Just enjoy the harmony of not having to try, basically, uh, within the relationships that are around you. You've got this covered. Um, and it will be, it, I think it's going to bring to the surface the evident path for you as you go forward. Let's see what's going on in your financial sort of side. This is job, business. And I think this is where we're going to get the most amount of things. And this is where I think this is where your heart is organising a lot of things as well. They're showing me the wall again. They're showing me um, it's tying in a lot more with the evident path here, with that seven of cups. It's, you know, don't procrastinate before the wall. Go through the hole. Go through the door, as it were. And I think here it's sort of saying, keep it simple, stupid. You know, the kiss routine. Yeah, if, you know, that's fair exchange, uh, the Six of Pentacles, but it's also um, uh, it's also a question of what do you invest your money and time into? And this is where it ties up beautifully, coming in across from the relationship side, going through the Seven of Cups and coming to that, um, that Six of Pentacles. It's almost sort of saying, use your relationships that are around you. Not use them, but 
Use how you're living your life around you in order to, to apply uh, within your business world what you really need to invest in what, in regards to your job, your business and your projects. Just to see how the universe is influencing this. There seems to be like, you, I think you're going to win something. You're going to feel like you've won a victory. This may not be for everyone, but it's like you've just got a very big client or um, you know, you've know you signed a really big contract or something like that. And the universe here is sort of saying, celebrate, enjoy the moment. Um, I say enjoy the moment and you get the Nine of Swords. I think this is where it's like, it's on this Nine of Swords, there's a lot of stress and strain that goes with all those birds that go there. But then again, you've got one dove that's also there uh, within the um, Nine of Swords. And I think then on, uh, on other Nine of Swords, you have one sword which is on the ground. And it's you only need one sword. You can't carry more than that, really, unless you're Shiva, of course. But um, here's a case of focusing on the things that don't call you to do stress. This is what the universe is doing. And celebrate and um, accentuate the things that are... Um, the things that you're bringing you success, you know, bringing you these new contracts and stuff like that. Um, I, there's a there's a there's a there's a celebration to be had in all of this. There's no doubt about it. There's a celebration to be had, and the universe wants you to celebrate um, some sort of progression that's going on uh, for you. Let's just see how you guides are influencing this karmic message. They've got their eye on a very big prize at the moment. It's, um, yeah, a very big prize at the moment. Um, it's coming in and it's, yeah, it's a, it's an offering that's coming in. And I think it comes in from another Taurus around you. I've got a funny feeling. It may not be for everybody, but, you know, um, it seems like there's a massive opportunity that's going to suit you down to the ground that's turning up. And if you concentrate here on the evident path, and don't stress and strain about life, I think this opportunity that comes through is going to really serve you no ends. It's going to be absolutely brilliant for you. Let's just see how the guides are trying to influence the conversation that is within you. You need to smarten up. It's almost as if, like, if if you want it, you gotta you gotta you gotta be the part. You gotta play the part as well. That's what I mean by smarten up. Um, as you go as you go through, in, as this opportunity is being seized at the moment, that's coming into you really quickly. It's a tricky situation, I think, uh, that's coming into you. Um, but two look, there's there's choices to be made here. Look at that. You've got the Two of Cups, Two of Pentacles, and the Seven of Cups that's behind it. It's really coming in here. And I think this could be, it could be an offering of love connected with work, basically. It's the end of that. I think the universe here is sort of saying, celebrate because it's the end of the woes and worries in your life um, for the time being. And um, if you just concentrate on feeding the things that are really working for you, you are going to fall in love with your life. It's quite mad. And the reason I'd say it could be connected, you know, it could be love connected with work because you've got a two of pentacles on this side, two of cups on this side. If they were to be inversed, it would be love on this side and you're concentrating on your work. But here the two sides are connecting and, and mixing together here. There seems to be a dovetailing effect what is going on um, within your life. And if you could put all these things together, it's going to be a really... It's going to be a beast of an opportunity for you. Let's just see what the overall outcome is. Uh, yeah, I think this opportunity is going to be squarely in front of you next week. If you can see or feel this opportunity this week, it's going to help you to prepare to see that evident path that is in front of you. Uh, it's going to be a lovely time. I think it's going to stimulate you loads, Taurus. You know, um, 
you got this here, the Ten of Cups. So you got happiness after difficulty. And if you look on there, you've got like a, a like a fence. This is like, um, you know, uh, healthy boundaries or boundaries that you just need to get over in order to get to those Ten Cups. And I think this boundary has to do with that because that's the only real negative card if there is a negative card on the on the deck here um and if you concentrate on that one thing i think it's going to become massive for you uh taurus going forward i think it's going to be really um yeah really good for you going forward uh in the future it's gonna it's gonna be really stimulating for you i said really loads haven't i <laughs> it is going to be very stimulating for you it's going to provide um, the sensation that uh, this is it. You you know where you're going. You know what you're doing. You know uh, who you are. You know what you want. Um, it defines a lot of things within you. Uh, really, really nice. And I think this is could be tying into that heart chakra where, um, you know, it's putting a bit of order into that sort of thing and and... When I said sort of there's this one thing you should be going after, that's that one petal that's coming out of your heart. I would allow your heart to lead the way, but be, you know, make sure it's um, something that stimulates you basically this week uh, in this opportunity coming up. And it's going to be interesting to see how that plays out in the following week after that. Um, so, uh, yeah, there you go, Taurus. Thank you very much for being here uh, for your Astro Flower reading. Uh, as I said, you've got your mid-January readings that came out during this week as well. And I will see you for the next reading. In the meantime, don't forget, life should be fun, so please do enjoy. <laughs>